Welcome in, welcome in. Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you all are having a great week. Uh, we are still undefeated on the video plays this week. Uh, did not have a video yesterday because there was only two bets I took, and they were both in the early game, which started at noon, so there's just no way I could have got this video out in time for people to watch it and uh you know get that bet in and i'm never gonna come on here you guys know this i'm never gonna make a dfs video when i don't play i'm never gonna make you know a betting video for a bet that i don't take so i did want to make a video yesterday for something i just didn't love uh so we're back today uh and i do have a bet for tonight um like i said hopefully you guys are having a good week though still undefeated uh on the video plays this week so let's make it three and oh for the week, uh, I'm going to go all the way down. It's a smaller slate today on Thursday. There's only a few games. We're going to go all the way down to the last game of the night at 938 Eastern between the Oakland A's and the Los Angeles Angels. We have Ross Stripling going against Kenny Rosenberg. It is uh, two pretty bad pitchers, which is why you can see there's a nine and a half total here, which is the highest total of the day. And the Angels are slight favorites at minus 115. We are going to be taking the Oakland A's on the money line tonight at minus 105. You can actually get it at minus 102 over on FanDuel, so even better odds. So Oakland A's money line minus 102 is the play. Uh, I don't know why the A's are not favored in this game. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I guess maybe because the Angels are, are the home team. I really have no idea. So for in terms of starting pitcher matchup uh we've ross stripling against kenny rosenberg both these guys are pretty mid pitchers right ross stripling's been uh pretty average for his entire career uh he's kind of one of the names that were floated out preseason as like oh, okay he's gonna start for the a's this year and then you know they'll try and trade him at the deadline he's been hurt uh so he's just now coming back uh didn't look crazy good during his rehab assignments um you know, so you're really not getting any advantage there. As for Rosenberg, kind of the same thing. He's just not great. He has pitched a long time in the minors for the Angels, and they don't really seem to have, uh, you know, much faith in him. And his numbers across the board in the minor leagues are just pretty mid, especially in terms of his. He's had control issues at times. Um, so overall, I, I don't think we're gaining anything here from either side of this pitching matchup. Now, uh, it could turn into more of a bullpen game because uh, Stripling, like I said, he did not pitch much in his rehab assignments. I think he topped out at about 60 pitches, so we're probably not going to see him go super deep into this game. Rosenberg uh, is more stretched out, but, I mean, who knows, you know, how he looks tonight. You know, maybe he could go get you five, six innings. Maybe he only gets you four. I have no idea. But uh, if it turns into more of a bullpen game, the A's have a distinct advantage there. They have the eighth best bullpen ERA in baseball at 364, while the Angels have the fourth worst at 450. So significant bullpen advantage there for the A's. And we know, obviously, they have Mason Miller on the back end. So just extreme bullpen advantage for the A's if it's a close game and the A's are winning by a run or whatever late in the game. It's just very clearly the bullpen favor goes to the A's. Now, if we look at offensively, um, if we just look at team stats for the entire year of 2024, uh, if we look at like weighted on base or weighted runs created, so WRC plus Oakland is, um, let me let me refresh this to make sure these numbers are accurate. I don't want to give faulty information out. Okay, so for 2024, WRC plus Oakland is 13th overall, which is middle of the pack. For weighted on base average, they're 18th. So once again, middle of the pack. If we look at the Angels numbers, though, weighted uh, runs created, Angels are 25th. Uh, weighted on base average, Angels are 25th. So, um, you know, pretty distinct, just offensive advantage for the A's here as well. And then we can couple that in with the fact that the Oakland A's have been absolutely scorching hot since the All Star break. Uh, let's turn. Let Let's isolate those numbers to the last 14 days. Um, so for weighted runs created, the A's jump from 13th to first overall. The Oakland A's are first overall in WRC plus over the last 14 days. Uh, they're first overall in WOBA. They're first overall in ISO. The Oakland A's offense has been on fire. So now you're telling me that we have two teams 
One, uh, and there's no distinct pitching advantage to either of these starting pitchers. So we have two teams. One of them has a much better bullpen. One of them has been literally the best offense in baseball over the last 14 days. And that team is underdogs. I don't understand it. So we're taking the Oakland A's on the money line tonight at minus 102. You can see on the live trends uh, tool here that uh, the data kind of supports that as well. 59% of the bets are coming in on Oakland, but over uh, 68% of the money. So big handle differential there. Uh, which works in favor of us. And if I look at the money line predictor here, uh, we do have Oakland with a 51% chance to win this game, despite uh, the Angels having a 54% chance per Vegas. So a positive differential in favor of the A's as well. Oakland A's money line is the play for tonight. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you so much. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you know when I post these videos every single day. Good luck with your wagers tonight, and I'll see everybody for a big Friday slate tomorrow.